In this video, we're going to attempt another hydrate problem. So let's go ahead to our handout and try this one out. Uh, so we have the, the formula the formula for magnesium sulfate hydrate, where X represents the number of moles of water per mole of magnesium sulfate. Um, so, oh, sorry, this is what we have here is the formula for magnesium sulfate something hydrate. We don't know what the hydrate is. We just know there's an X there. And we said that when 8.86 grams of the hydrate is heated, all the water is lost and 4.33 grams of magnesium sulfate remains. What is the value of X? Write the formula for the hydrate and name it. So let's go ahead and do all the steps there. So first, as you know, we need to find the mass of water. And so the mass of water is simply going to be the difference between the mass of the hydrate that you started off with. So the 8.86 grams and the mass of the anhydrous you end up with the 4.33 grams. And when you do that, you get 8.86 minus 4.33. And we get 4.53 grams. Uh, so that is the mass of the water. Uh, now that we have the mass of the water, we need to find the uh, moles of water. So we know the moles of water, I put NH2O to show I'm finding the moles of water specifically is equal to the mass of the water over the molar mass of water. And so that's going to be the uh, 4.53 4.53 grams divided by 18.02 grams per mole. Cross out the grams and we're left with moles. So 4.53 divided by 18.02 and we get, uh, I'm just going to write it over here, 0 0.25138, moles of water. And I, I'm not going to round just yet because I'm going to be using this number later on in further calculations. So just keep track that we have our moles of water there. Uh, and now my step three is to find the moles of the anhydrous or the ionic sub, uh, compound that remains after you've heated everything up. And so we need to find the moles of the magnesium sulfate, which is going to be the mass of magnesium sulfate alone over the molar mass of magnesium sulfate. And so that's going to be uh, 4.33 grams over the molar mass of magnesium sulfate. So magnesium is 24.31 plus sulfate, which is 32.07 plus 64, because there's four oxygens. So 120.38 grams per mole. Cross out the grams there. And we get 4.33 divided by our answer. We get 0 0.0359694 moles of the berry, of the magnesium sulfate. Now at this point, we need to find what the x value is going to be. And remember, the x value is basically doing dividing by small. We're going to do the ratio between the moles of water, because the water is a bigger mole, as always. and the moles of the um, anhydrous, which is a magnesium sulfate, just try on a compound on its own. And so we'll get the moles of water, which is 0 0.25138734 moles, divided by the moles of the magnesium sulfate that we saw um, just up here. So 0 0.03596943 moles, cancel moles out and we'll get Just doing this in my calculator, 7347 divided by our answer. We get 6.98891658, which we can round because it's within our rounding region there to approximately seven. And so that's the X value. There's seven water molecules attached to our um, compound. So what I want to do is write down the answers. The question was basically asking for it. It's nice to go back and check. So 
what is the x value? So we can go and put step five, x is equal to seven. So that's our first uh, point there. Uh, of course, you're getting marks for all your steps, but I'm just showing you what you should list as your final answers here. Um, the formula as a result of that is uh, magnesium SO4 dot seven H2O because that's where the X was to begin with. And that's what we're trying to find. Um, and then the name based on the formula is magnesium sulfate. The seven means hepta or leads to hepta. And then the H2O is hydrate. So magnesium sulfate heptahydrate, that's the name of our compound. Um, part of it was given to you here, magnesium sulfate. Um, so you have that part there. And then the hydrate part's given to you in the question as well. You just need to know what the seven means. And that's hepta from the Greek prefix. And essentially what we did is we um, showed our work. We found the mass of water, found the moles of water, found the moles of MgSO4, the anhydrous, did our ratio to find the X value. Um, in other words, divide by small. And then afterwards we listed all our information. So X is equal to seven. With that, we said that here's our formula. And with the formula, we're able to come up with the name. So that's how you would solve a lab-based problem for determining the formula of hydrates. In our next video, we're going to do a more lab-based problem where I give you information that you would collect in the lab using the, um, the tools and setup shown here. And uh, the steps are essentially the same. They're just a couple extra steps because the information is not directly given to you. So for example, here we told you that, you know, this is the mass of water. That this is the mass of your compound before and after. Um, now figure out the mass of water. We directly told you that. Whereas here, we give you the masses with the masses of the containers and, and lab equipment that you're using. And so you have to do a little bit of thinking to figure out where you get the mass of the hydrate from, uh, what, what the mass of the ionic compound is going to be, what the mass of the water is going to be. So I just have to teach you to think in that way if you do see a problem like this. Because when you have a virtual lab or a real lab, you actually collect your own data rather than the question given to you like this where the data is just provided to you directly. So that'll be our next video, a lab style uh, question uh, to determine the formula of a hydrate.